Hello everyone, welcome back to your own channel that is Learn English with Priyanka. So if you are feeling the pressure of ICSE physics exam, don't worry, I have got you covered. So in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step study plan to help you score a perfect 80 in just few hours. Yes, it is still possible and I will show you how. So stay tuned till the end and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to your own channel. Yes, because your support is what I need the most. So now let's talk about, uh, let's understand the structure of ICSC physics exam. So as you people already know that the paper is divided into two sections. Section A, which is of 15 marks, this has objective type questions and uh, multiple choice questions that is MCQs, assertion reasonings and numerical problems. Talking about section B, which is of 65 marks, yes, this consists of subjective descriptive questions where you need to explain concepts, solve numericals and draw diagram. Now the key to scoring full marks is understanding which type of questions to expect and how to answer them efficiently. So strategy. Let's talk about section uh, A strategy that is MCQs and objective questions. So how will you crack section A? So let's start with how to tackle with section A. It contains MCQs which means you have four options. Some require logical thinking, not just memorization. Talking about assertion and reasoning, four to five tricky ones do come. Talking about numericals, around four to five formula-based uh, questions are asked. Now talking about fact-based and practical-based question. So these questions actually test concepts from experiments. So do not skip experiments, which generally students do. Go through them. So to ease this section, revise important formulas, understand assertion, reasoning, logic, and go through previous year's MCQs. Although there are not many, but fair be, there are a few. Now talking about section B, that is 65 marks section. So we need to focus on this section quite in a detailed way. So here is what you have to prepare. First is diagrams and graphs. So questions will be based on plotting graphs and um, uh, livers and center of gravity. And sound and waves, uh, you have to remember their properties, formulas and application. Then talking about electricity and circuits, you should remember Ohm's law, circuit diagrams, energy flow. Talking about center of gravity and principle of moments. So yes, you have to understand the experiments like the plumb line method and all that, right? So now you have to make sure you practice diagrams thoroughly because they carry stepwise marks in exam. Now let's discuss the most effective study plan for the last minute revision. So revise all the formulas and derivations, especially for uh, coming from electricity, sound and motion. Solve 10 to 15 MCQs from previous year papers. Ne uh, then you can even practice numericals from each chapter. Learn diagrams and labelings for important experiments. Do not skip experiments because although you feel as if I know everything, but no, you need to go through them. Solve at least 5 uh, past year papers. And do that timed way, like the, as in like uh, if the paper is of two hours, you should complete it in two hours only. Do not uh, just go and have your lunch and then you come back. Don't do that. Sit at and stretch. Revise tough topics using quick notes, right? Go through assertion and reason questions from sample papers. So this ensures you revise smartly without wasting time on unnecessary details. Focus on time management. Generally what happens, you people practice orally. Everything you do orally, right? And in exams you panic. Oh my God, I'm not able to write. So don't do that because generally what happens, you are not able to manage your time and as a result, what happens? You tend to skip few questions or you are not able to complete the thing on time. So practice. Write uh, everything down. So before we end here are some final tips to boost your score. First, write answers in point formats to get full marks. Yes. Uh, 
underline key terms and draw neat diagrams, revise definitions and SI units. Uh, these actually come in MCQs. Yes, SI units should be known to you people. Avoid silly mistakes in numericals by rechecking calculations. In case of time shortage, attempt numericals and diagrams first. Why? Because they fetch easy marks. Yes. First of all, if you are facing any difficulty in any question, just leave that, skip that and come on to that question later on. Do not waste your time by just sticking to one question. Right? That's it. Follow the strategy and you will be able to score 80 out of 80 in physics. And if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, share or subscribe to this channel. And yes, I need your views, your comments so that I can keep updating you with such kind of videos. So yes, please do comment and subscribe now. Bye-bye. All the best for your exams tomorrow.